What's up? This is Squad 2448. We are following Simulator 17 mod review. Today we'll be taking a look at a supercar pickup truck, telehandler pack, mower tow trailer, and a green trailer pack. Up first, we'll be taking a look at the McLaren F1 supercar. This car is not color changeable, but it does come in this dark blue, which is pretty cool. And overall, there's a lot of detail to it. As you come around to the side, you guys can see these wheels are pretty cool, and there's a pretty large wheel gap, so I might look into lowering down this vehicle. And as you guys can also see, it does have a pretty small wheelbase. As you come around to the back the back of this looks awesome quad exhaust and overall the brake lights look pretty cool once we hop on the inside this goes 130 miles per hour all of the lights do work and this does have some pretty epic engine sounds up front you guys can see if you do press K you can open up the front hood which is pretty cool with K5 and 6 you could turn on the high beams and the fog lights then as you come around to the back you could open up the exhaust door which is pretty cool and then you could also open up the engine door that's a very cool feature 8 and 9 on the numpad will open up the two doors take a look at that that is pretty cool and once you hop on the inside view you guys can see you do sit in the center and there is a seat on either side of you which is pretty cool working gauges working mirrors and working steering wheel now this is one pretty fast vehicle and as you guys can see I mean we are going upwards of a hundred miles per hour and this is one very cool vehicle all of the links to all of the mods will be down below in the description. I do recommend you check them out. These are some pretty cool mods. And as you guys can see, handling on this is really good, especially for a pretty fast vehicle just like this. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Chevy High Country Off-Road Edition. Up top, you guys can see there's a very large curved LED light bar. Then up front, you guys can see it does have a pull bar, which is pretty cool. As you come around to the side, it has very nicely done wheels, which are awesome. Then it has dual exhaust out of the bed of the truck, which is also a pretty cool feature. Once we hop on the inside, this goes 85 miles per hour. There's no detailed first-person view. Then when you turn the lights on, you guys can see the LED light bar turns on in the headlights, which is pretty cool. All of the turn signals, everything like that does not work. It does have a gooseneck and bumper pull hitch. And as you guys can see, handling on this is okay. It does lean into the turns, which is pretty realistic. And take a look at that suspension. And it looks like it is squatting just a little bit in the back. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a JCB Telehandler. As you guys can see up front, it does come with a few stabilizers, which is pretty cool. And overall, this thing looks awesome. You guys can see it actually goes even further than the normal one in-game, which is pretty cool. It does have a beacon light up top and also a hitch around the back, which is pretty cool. Then it does come with a few attachments. As you guys can see, you could actually put somebody in here, lift them up, and then you could do some repairs to any buildings or even use it for like a bucket for tree services. And then as you guys can see, this attachment, you could lift up fertilizer bags everything like that once you hop on the inside this goes 26 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool when you do press keypad 7 the stabilizers do go down which is pretty cool and I mean they actually do work really well I help stabilize it especially when you do reach high and let's take a look at that guys so this goes all the way up like that when you kind of switch over take a look at this I mean this goes all the way up very very far one of the highs I've ever seen one of these go which is pretty cool I really do like that reach, and as you guys can see, overall, very fast movements, which is pretty helpful. So we'll kind of uh, uh, fold up those stabilizers, and next up, you guys can see, it does have many different turning options, which is pretty cool. So uh, the front wheels turn, they turn like that, and then all of them turn, which is pretty cool. And like I was saying, all of these attachments do work, which is also a pretty cool feature. And once you attach to it, you can move them up and down, then on the inside view, very nicely done, very detailed, and overall, this looks pretty cool. And I think we'll be adding this to the construction shop up next we'll be taking a look at a massey ferguson mower which is pretty cool it's a wr9870 and you can actually get a roller on back to kind of compact the grass but you guys can see very nicely done a lot of the detail was put into the roller which is pretty cool you guys can see hydraulic lines and this actually does uh lift up and down with the option and then uh, the drive shaft is both of those gas tank and overall this looks pretty cool once we hop on the inside this goes 32 miles per hour 
pretty fast for it, turn signals, everything like that does work. Now when you do press B, it will turn on, you can lift it up if you wanted to transport it, and as you guys can see, it does have animations. And then once you kind of do cut it, it does leave a grass path in the center, which is pretty cool. And then on the inside view, you guys can see very detailed electronic uh, area, and overall this is one awesome mower. I think we'll be adding this to maybe the public works, something like that, just because it's very nicely done. Up next, we'll be taking a look at some semi-trailers, and the first one is this tilt trailer. This is very nicely done. Now, these uh, tri-axles do kind of move forward, which is pretty cool, and I mean, this is very nicely done. It does have this uh, kind of guard up front to prevent vehicles from going into the semi-truck. We'll be hopping into the in-game semi-truck, and we'll be taking a look at this trailer. I mean, this trailer has a lot of detail put into it, and we definitely want to test it in action. Once you attach to it, the stabilizers do go away. Then with J and N, you can move those wheels where you want them, which is pretty cool. It does have straps, as you guys can see, and you do want the wheels all the way forward. And then take a look at that, guys. When you do press keypad 8, the hydraulics do work, and that looks awesome. I mean, that's pretty cool having a very nicely done some. Overall, this is one very cool trailer, and it actually does have a few toolboxes on the side, which is pretty cool. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a few grain trailers. Now, this is meant to kind of put into a train, and you could have as many as you want, but it does come with the two versions, and we'll definitely attach it. And as you guys can see, a lot of detail went into them. When you do press N, the cover will go away. You could unload them, and then it does not actually unload. It goes through the bottom, which is also pretty cool. And I think we'll be adding this to the Oregon Farms uh, series once we kind of... Uh, uh, do an upgraded video for that once again. You can attach, and here you guys go. Awesome looking train. All the lights, everything work on these, which is pretty cool. And there's a few camera problems, which I will have to work out. The final mod we'll be taking a look at is this placeable shop. This thing looks pretty cool. As you guys can see, up top it does have a pretty large overhang with lights. And then down below it does have a pretty cool cement slab, which is perfect. And then windows along the side. So as you guys come over here, you could kind of come over here and you could open up this door, which is pretty cool. The door does open up. And on the inside view, you guys can see it does have one garage door, which is okay. And uh, it also has lights on the inside, which is pretty cool. Very nicely done. A lot of detail was put into it. Then as you guys come over here, I mean, this is one of my favorite new garage doors, just how it works, and it actually kind of uh, coils up top, which is pretty cool, and you could actually set this garage door to any height, which is also a pretty cool feature, then as you come around, it goes over there, so I mean, very cool shop, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review, thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more!